hey, play, play, play. Yuri Putzman from Estonia has just had his first rehearsal at Eurovision 2016, and he has up to the ante. I was a total hater at SD Lau. I did not like it. I thought it was a little boring. But here, the visuals are so interesting. He plays on the idea of a pack of cards, gambling. Of course, love is always a gamble, but this is not a gamble. This is sick. This is fierce. I am babbling and making no sense for it. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically a casino staging, very James Bond-esque. They've used the kind of jagged screens to great effect, and they kind of display giant cards. Then on the floor, there's another pack of cards strewn around with his face, and it moves as he sings. But then, it's also classy, and then he comes out and pulls out a magic trick. And what's with Estonia and magic tricks? It didn't work for Getter Jani in 2011. It's not working for a jury now. I think that's too cheesy because up until that point, it's very sophisticated. Yeah, it's like if you have a buffet and you've got like lots of fancy meats and like, I don't know, caviar, and then a big old bottle of ketchup. It does not fit. Um, this is the second year in a row where Estonia's staging has impressed me. I thought the, um, the staging for Sig and Alina last year was really innovative, and I think the same for this year as well. Um, again, yeah, reflecting on what Park just said, the card trick was really lame. I wasn't mm. a fan of that. Um, he looks good, he sounds great, um, and it looks expensive, and I think Estonia, pardon the pun, really want to play this year mm. at Eurovision, so um, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Now, while he does look good, I think on stage, the camera, it crops him quite close, and at times he looks constipated. I don't know if he's like feeling unwell today, or if he's just a little bit tight, but I think he needs to loosen up. Go back to SD Lau, where he was serving sex, he was serving sultry through his eyes, but now he's trying to serve it with his face, and I think he just needs to smize, because it, it came through in Estonia, but now it's just it's too forced. It's like, oh, I'm healthy. <laughs> we don't need all that. In any event, is this going to the final? I think it might struggle. The staging has elevated it, but the song, personally, I've never really connected mm. with it. I think it's too... Oh, it thinks it's better than it is. He looks good, he sings well, but the song, it's still a dark song. The staging is borderline cheesy. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't be confident to say that it would be in the final. Truly, casinos are exciting, but people still fall asleep at the table, and that's what's happening to me here. Visually arresting, but the song, which is ultimately the most important thing, just a bit hollow. Not hollow. Sleepy and boring. I've not been a <coughs> excuse me. I've not been a hater of the song. Um, in fact, I've quite enjoyed it. But um, I think it will struggle um, after a couple of the performances that we've seen today. Um, and there's some big names coming mm. up later today as well, which is why I'm a little bit skeptical. Um, if it is, if Estonia will qualify, I think it will be sort of maybe number eight or below. Um, but. It's a solid effort. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Do you want to play with Yuri? Are you ready to watch him live at Eurovision? You can let us know here on Weeby Blogs. And don't just play the video, hit subscribe. Ooh. And while you're here, give us a like. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye.